What is up, y'all? Today, we're going to be talking about the James Harden, you know, potential trades. We're going to talk about the four teams that he wants to go to, what the best trade packages they have to offer, the best fit, and the team I personally think he goes to, along with the Dark West team that I actually thought of. So, we're going to go in order of, you know, best fit to worst fit. Okay? Best fit, I feel like most people could, you know, admit this, is the Brooklyn, not the Brooklyn Nets, the Philadelphia 76ers. The reason for this being they just need floor spacing. Um, there's really, I mean, Daryl Moore is there now, so that can help things out a lot. Uh, quite honestly, it just seems like the most logical maneuver for both teams. Giving up Ben Simmons would definitely have to hurt the 76ers. But ultimately, achieving an MVP, you know, player, regardless of how efficient he is, is worth it, especially for a player that's shown a reluctance to, you know, shoot a three, let alone make one, you know? Um, in my opinion, the 76ers just make the most sense for James Harden. Um, next up, um, I got the Brooklyn Nets here. Now, I don't think a Brooklyn Nets trade actually happens, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But honestly, I mean, I guess they could make him fit. Okay, um, it's one of those things where if both the superstars, you know, Kyrie Irving and Katie said they wanted him, I'm sure they could somehow make it work. It's just, it's more or less, it's not really like he's a good fit here. It's just he's a worse fit on the other two teams, in my opinion. So the next up for the third, you know, worst fit, I kind of, you know, struggled with this one a little bit. Because Milwaukee and Miami, neither one of them I really think would be a good fit. But at the end of the day, I decided to go with Miami. Um, purely for the reason of they just... A scorer such as James Harden would be necessary. Not necessary, but could be needed potentially in the playoffs. Especially if Goran Dragic takes a step back and Tyler Hero doesn't take a huge step forward. But at the same time... Eric Spolster and Patrick Riley will kick you out if you don't meet the body fat requirements. James Harden statistically plays his worst in Miami because of the strip clubs. And that's not even a joke. That's a proven fact, y'all. Um, I don't think the life would be good for him. I don't think the lifestyle would be good for him. I think he would have questions about giving up, you know, control of his team to Jimmy Butler. Uh, yeah. The d defense, he tries on defense. Or... He doesn't try. He's not on his, He's not as bad as defense at defense as everyone thinks he is. Okay, but still doesn't mean he's great. Um, yeah, that's about it. So then, last up, we have the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, no, him and Giannis have beef already. Really don't know why I added this team to his list. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say. So trade package wise, talked about this a little bit already. The 76ers would likely have to give up Ben Simmons. That's the younger guy that they want. Um, I'm assuming there's, you know, salary cap filler. So just a player with, you know, either a large contract or, you know, lots of smaller contracts. And I'm assuming several picks, too. That's more or less what the package would look like for the 76ers. Now, for the Nets, and this is where things get interesting. Apparently, he said that if, or the Rockets said that they would want Kyrie or KD in exchange for James Harden, which I don't see happening unless KD says, okay, first off, you have to think who is the, you know, not the bigger person, but who is more of the leader in terms of talking to the GM. I highly doubt it's Kyrie Irving. I feel like KD is the guy that's, you know, talking to the GM and saying what he wants done. Even if both of them may want it done, at the end of the day, I still feel like KD is the guy that is, you know, in the GM's ear talking about what he wants done. And realistically, if he said, hey, I want to play with James Harden, I give you permission to trade Kyrie, I mean, I assume at least that they'd have to look into it somewhat. Next up, the Miami Heat's trade package. Um, it looks somewhat like Tyler Hero, a couple of picks, um, Andre Iguodala, Kelly Olenek, maybe Duncan Robinson. Um... I saw something that online, not entirely sure how true it is, but um, it comes down to who they think will be a better player in the future, Tyler Hero or Ben Simmons, 
if it were to come into a bidding war between those two teams. Um, just a little interesting side note. So, y'all, I want you to leave down in the comments below who you think will be the better player five years from now, Ben Simmons or Tyler Hero. Um, next up, the Milwaukee Bucks trade package. I'm not even sure how this one would work, to be quite honest. It just seems unrealistic. It's kind of like that, you know, team that he just randomly added to make it seem like he doesn't have a favorite, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I'm assuming they'd have to trade away Drew Holiday or Chris Middleton, which I'm assuming to be Drew Holiday because he's the newer addition, and Chris Middleton, you know, is a very good fit next to Giannis. Um, picks obviously and salary cap filler along with a younger guy. I can't really think of any younger guys on the Bucks that are, you know, stand out. To be quite honest, there's no, you know, Tyler Hero, Ben Simmons figure on that team. So, now we get to talk about my favorite, you know, thing for all these conversations, the Dark Horse team. Right, and I came up with this, okay? Um, so, the Portland Trailblazers. CJ McCollum, a younger guy, maybe Zach Collins, I guess? I mean, I don't know. And a couple of picks for James Harden. They get back a guy that they can play with and not wait to develop. A guy that they, you know, might be able to compete with, with John Wall and CJ McCollum. This younger guy will say, you know, Zach Collins. They get a younger guy, obviously always an asset. And picks, which, you know, needs no explanation. And honestly, I feel like this would work for both teams. Um, the Rockets would still quite possibly be playoff contenders with John Wall and CJ McCollum. Um, that'd be an interesting duo, honestly. Honestly. Um, I've always wanted to see CJ McCollum as the first option. And see what he could potentially do. Um... Damian Lillard and James Harden would instantly become, you know, the best point guard, shooting guard combo in the league. Um, that's two MVP candidates, even though one of them might be a little bit, you know, Dark Horse and Lillard. That's still two MVP candidates on one team. Um, Lillard seems like the kind of guy to, you know, be willing to share the ball more, in my opinion. He seems like a good team player. Um, and he steps it up in the playoffs when James Harden doesn't. So that is a good fit there. You know, kind of rely on James to carry you through the regular season and then let Lillard carry on the um, take on the scoring burden once the postseason hits. So that's the, you know, Dark Horse team that I thought about. Um, there have been rumors about the Warriors for some reason. I really saw like two things online about that. I really don't understand that, to be completely honest. That's not, I highly doubt that will happen. Um, the Lakers, people thought he would go to the Lakers. Like, why? I just don't know. Lakers fans, y'all can be kind of crazy with this, not going to lie. Uh, the Knicks don't really see him going to the Knicks. Those are the big three, you know, of teams that always have to be brought up in a trading conversation. I think that's about it, honestly. So, y'all, if you agree with these, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you disagree, let me know down in the comments below. Let's have a conversation, y'all. Um, like the video if you enjoyed my content, and if you enjoy daily sports content on the NBA, the NFL, college football, and college basketball, all four of the big ones, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post daily, as stated before. Uh, yeah, that's about it for today, so y'all have a good day. Yeah.